Hello, you beautiful human beings. How's it going? It's Ace Hawk here, or Hawkey, whatever works for you. And today, we are going to be talking about how to prepare for Destiny and how you guys might have a best chance to get yourself prepared in terms of knowing how the game's mechanics might work and also having a bit of experience with games that might be similar in terms of aspects that Destiny will have as well. So that way you guys are spending more time playing the game and enjoying yourselves and less time going slowly through those parts that are a bit harder for normal players to get through. Now as you guys can see from the gameplay in the background, my number one tip would have to be play Borderlands or Borderlands 2. Now I don't have Borderlands 2 so I decided to go back in time and just spend some time playing Borderlands 1. I've already completed the game already but I thought I would you know, start it again from the start with a different actual class which is Mordecai as the Hunter for those of you guys who have played Borderlands and there are a couple of reasons why I say play Borderlands, okay? Now, it's an RPG that's also an FPS. For those of you guys who aren't up to date with your terms, that's a first-person shooter that's also a role-playing game. Now, Destiny is a role-playing game that's also a first-person shooter, so those are two of the aspects that are in the game Destiny that's also in the game Borderlands as well, which is awesome, and that way it'll also help you guys retain your aim because, once again, Borderlands is an FPS, and also because you face a variety of different enemies. At the start, you might be bursting some scrags, which is like these little doggy alien beasts that run up to you and try and, you know, claw at you and stuff. But then you also burst a bunch of enemies that are also ranged, and they're also melee, and the variety in how the enemies come at you is because you'll be bursting some melee enemies, and you'll also be bursting some ranged enemies, and that is really what's going to happen in Destiny, because... Not every enemy is going to try and shoot at you, okay? There are going to be those hive people, the zombie guys that are going to come up to you and try and bash the living daylights out of you. One of the things I reckon will definitely carry over is in Borderlands when the game rewards you for having good aim and you had a critical shot and you do extra damage. That's going to happen in Destiny as well when you shoot at the head. However, Destiny is a difficult game. It's not going to hold your hand. The Bungie have said this. It is not going to be an easy game to complete or play. That's why I reckon to prepare for Destiny, Borderlands is a really good idea. Not only because you face a variety of enemies, but because when you aim for the head you do critical damage. And that's going to help you out in Destiny when you're facing tougher opponents because get good aim is going to assist you. My next suggestion when preparing for Destiny is a very strange one, and it's basically the opposite of Borderlands, and that's to play Guild Wars 2, which is, for those of you who don't know, an MMORPG, which is a mass multiplayer online role-playing game. The reason why I suggest that you guys play this game is because it seamlessly integrates the ability to play from different game modes and game types. Okay, You might be playing PvP one second, then you'll be going into the story mode, and then after that you'll be actually just sitting around like in a dungeon or something like that trying to get through it and get some awesome gear. And then two minutes from then, you'll just be running around in a public event, taking down this massive monster that's just going to terrorize the entire world if you don't take it down. That's what I love about Guild Wars 2, and Destiny is going to be doing the same thing with public events, where everyone seamlessly just comes in from different parts of the map, all in one spot to take down a massive boss. And that's what's really cool about Destiny, because it brings people together. The game makes sure that everyone walked away from that encounter and just said, Oh man, I got this cool, awesome new sword, or maybe I got this cool new armor. That's what the game is going to be trying to do. So if you guys aren't actually up to date with you know how a public event works and things like that, and you want to gain experience, if you want to be better at things like that, then go ahead, play some Guild Wars 2, watch some gameplay for it, because it is an absolutely beautiful game, and I love my experience with it, and it definitely is enhanced when you're playing it with friends. So if you guys do have Guild Wars 2, if you have owned it, and you're planning on getting Destiny, that's another game you can go back to. Now, this is one of the reasons why I love Borderlands. Nine toes. Also, he has three balls. Yeah, yes, wonderful to know. But I think that the game's just so wrong, but yet also so right in so many different ways. But my third and final suggestion for you guys is a real, real obvious one. Go back and play some good old Halo. Alright, Halo 3, Halo Reach, whatever you guys feel like. Whichever one you guys have. I have a bunch of them, and uh, I'm going to play just about all of them on harder difficulties in the campaign, because it was made by the same developer. It's a first-person shooter. I think it's going to be a pretty obvious one. Have a go at it on Legendary Difficulty. If you can't do that, that's perfectly fine. It is quite difficult when you're actually playing it by yourself on Legendary Difficulty. If not, go at it on Heroic. That's okay, it's perfectly fine. Maybe even team up with a couple of friends. Go back to the good old Halo days. Anyway, I hope that you guys have enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a like, comment, favorite, and or subscription. It is much appreciated. I'm Ace Hawk, and I'm out.